auto repair and even needs me chara. The ingredients that we need are lamb or beef meat. I ask the butcher to slice it strip cut. Otherwise, you can bring the steak home and you can slice it yourself. Vegetable or olive oil, white vinegar, one onion, one tomato, half a lemon. It's very common in the market here to find the shawarma spices. If not available, it's just fine because you can substitute it with black pepper and a pinch of salt. To roll the sandwich later, we're gonna use, in addition to the meat shawarma, we will add onion, parsley, and sumac mix. Sumac is a sweet and sour vegetable, which is very common in the Lebanese cuisine. The marinade is an important part in our dish today. If you can do it overnight, it will be great. If not, please do it for not less than one hour. For the preparation, I cut the onion and tomato in quarter. I add half lemon. Then I add a tablespoon of white vinegar. One tablespoon of oil. And one teaspoon of our shawarma spices. transfer them to the fridge for not less than one hour. In my case, I'm doing it overnight. After marinating it overnight, I am transferring the meat shawarma with its marinade to a metal cooking pan. Uh, please note that it's important not to store it uh, in the refrigerator in a metal pan because of the acidity of the tomato, vinegar, and lemon juice. Uh, another note, I will be adding half cup of water just to make sure that the meat will be super tender. Um, if it's tenderloin, it will take less time for cooking, around 20 minutes. I'm using the top side, so it will take some more time. And to make sure that the meat will be tender, more and more. I am covering it with a aluminum foil so that the skin of the meat will have tenderizing the meat more. I'm now putting it in the oven on a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius for half an hour and then you uncover it for 10 additional minutes. While waiting for the meat to cook, I'm going to prepare the sandwich topping mix. I'll start with the onion. I cut it tablespoon of tahina, squeeze of lemon, and a pinch of salt. Now 
as you see, the meat is well cooked, it's so tender, and then the topping mix and the tahina sauce are ready to be added. Typically, we use the pita bread, but just in case you don't have pita bread in your country, I'm using the sandwich bread. I'm adding first the mix of meat shawarma with a bit of tomato, yeah, and more of this yummy meat. I add to that the parsley and onion mix with sumac and the tahina sauce. And now I'm ready to taste. Bon appétit and welcome to the Lebanese cuisine.